Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder Patrick and your partners along with Bob Iacchino. So, holding the rotation zone, key level you see right here, just above, and we always look at things for those who are new here on a closing basis to help define key support and resistance levels. So you see, if you really look at this uh, key close area here, then it does line up with some lows. We don't really care that it spikes down because it closed back in the range. That's why we always look for closes outside a range. So right now, about 10,000, I'm just going to call it 10,650. That's just above our rotation zone and just below that key level. So if we close below that, we'll start watching for the bigger pullback. Right now, we're holding above the uh, 10,900 level, our 12.5% pullback. So... That's been updated to this key level. We still have this divergence, but it's burning it off by moving sideways. So what are we watching for now? Uh, on this strong rotation back up, especially a close above 11,070. Then we'll watch for return to the high 11,369. Really, we'll watch for a return to about 11,400 since that's what people will be targeting. Then you'll get some minor resistance around 11,550. And then the next targets 11,703 and then we have a strong cluster of 12,200 uh we'll just call it about 12,200 let's check in on that daily chart so you see we've now been holding we haven't touched the rotation zone on a daily basis for let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten this rally is getting very long it doesn't say it has to stop but at some point we're going to reconnect with the rotation zone either by moving sideways and letting it catch up or by a drop so really Again, about that 10,550 level, you see a close below that, then we'll be watching minor support coming in about 10,400, major support coming in about 10,100 and oh, 10,200 area. Let's switch over, and you can also see before we switch over to Ethereum, how pegged we are on the RSI. So that's also at some point going to fall off either by moving sideways or getting the bigger pullback. You don't know which until you start seeing it so that's why you keep your stops raised you take some profits off the table and then if it just moves sideways and breaks out again you can re-add the position if it pulls back then you get to re-add it lower switching over to ethereum so we did form this double and you can see here well this could be used for you know i hope some of you have we've shown how to put the targets on so i was using conservative targets here and that gave us a full target of 293.74, which we ran down to uh, 293.77 and then rebounds uh, strongly back up. So this was an area where you could use your targets if you were looking and then dropping down to shorter term charts, you know, your one hour, your 15 minutes or even shorter than that. So you go with even five minute charts and then you start looking for a bottoming opportunities so you all right you see it coming right down here this is a five minute chart you get a nice big bar up breaks above that bar could be a buying opportunity you're not just probably going to want to pick this just try to bottom pick right there but you're going to wait for a confirmation rallying bar break of the high then that's something you could you could dip your toe into that's why it's helpful to use those levels so Let's switch back to our bigger picture. And then you see it closed back in the four hour rotation zone. Right now, again, looking at a closing basis. So you see how dip below, dip below, dip below. We have a close, key close right there. Key close right here. There's your open, same as your close. And the top, I mean, the bottom of the rotation zone, about three, we're just going to call it uh, 30380. Getting a close below that. See, this did not close below that on a four-hour basis. So if we got a close below that, we'd again start watching for the bigger pullback. I'd be watching about this 294 area again, then if that broke 290. Now, on, let me move this. On a rally, you see, even looking at the candle bodies, key resistance coming in about 316. Close above 316, be watching for 322. 327 and then our major cluster at 337 let's take a look at the daily 
So this kind of interesting spike down just above the daily rotation zone, not quite touching it. But again, this is an area and moving back up strongly. So this again is reinforced right around this 294 area. We have the daily rotation zone. We have this prior low and we have today's low. So that's the key line, the sand. You see, we get close below that. We then we'd be watching for a pullback towards the see all this resistance. So we had resistance here, resistance, 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 resistance. We finally broke above it and launched. So that would be your now your very key support if we did have a bigger pullback in Ethereum. So we have for you in Bitcoin and Ethereum and we'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.